Very weird, obviously never did it, just knew it was a scam, but I wonder if you ever had anything like this happen to you. Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. Hope you all had a great Labor Day weekend. I went down to Kentucky to visit some family, but I'm back now. Got about 20 eBay orders to ship out. So let's get to work. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is a bumper sticker up here. This is the last one of these I have. I had a ton of these. I've only got a couple pennies into each of them and they've been selling pretty well. This sold for $9.99 free shipping. Next is a VCR. Uh, this one right here. It is a Symphonic model. Uh, really clean, didn't have the remote unfortunately, but I got it for free. My buddy Greg gave me this. So Greg, if you're watching this man, thanks for the VCRs. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing's an E1. This is a Canon selfie photo printer. I normally don't bother picking these up. They're not super valuable if they're used, but this one was new in the box and never used, and I got it for five bucks. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're going to A2, and I sold a number of games out of here. First is Super Mario Duck Hunt with a dust cover and the manual that sold for $9.99 free shipping. And the next couple games out of here are part of a really big buy. Uh, I had somebody buy a large number of things, at least a dozen. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull all that stuff. All right, the first order that buyer made has four games. Let's see, one is Wheel of Fortune, uh, Manual, and the Dust Cover. Then we got Super Mario Brothers Track Hunt, uh, or Track Meet and Duck Hunt with the Manual. California Games with the Manual and Dust Cover. And their next one is an A4. Um, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt with the uh, manual. These four games right here sold for $35.96 free shipping. All right, next thing that buyer got is also an A2. It is John Elway's quarterback game um, with the manual and dust cover that sold for $8.99 free shipping. Then that buyer got a couple pops up here in C10. Let's see, it has two Wonder Woman characters. Uh, this one right here, 172, and also Steve Trevor, 173. These two sold for $11.98 plus shipping. Then they bought a couple toys at A4. These are a couple Toy Story toys. Uh, Buzz Flies Home and Barbie Doll and Friends. Got, these are from the Toy Story 2 movie. These were out of those big storage units that I bought a while back. Uh, the pair sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next order has a game of Funko Pop. Let's see, down here in F6. Is it this one right here? Not that one. Here it is, Rolling Thunder. And then Funko up here in D7. Monster High, Cleo Denial. These two sold for $17.98 plus shipping. And I do believe that's everything. So we got, let's see, three Funko Pops, about six NES games, and two Toy Story toys all go into the same buyer. Those are all going out to viewer named Donald. Donald, thank you so much for your business. Really appreciate it. All right, next thing we're pulling is down here at F6. And I think there's more than one game. I guess I probably could have just left this bin out and pull all the orders at once. Let's see here. I sold 1942 for NES for $12.99 free shipping. I sold MC Kids. Let's see where it is. Right here, it has the dust cover. That sold for $15.99 free shipping. All right, next order is some Funko Pops. A few of them are up here in A8. Let's see, there's three total. I sold Negan from The Walking Dead. That one right there. Ezekiel from The Walking Dead. And the last one is orders in C10. It is Michonne from The Walking Dead. Same buyer got all three of these for $23.97 plus shipping. All right, back to A2. Once again, I could have just left this bin open because I sold more stuff out of here. Um, I sold RBI Baseball 2. This brings back a lot of memories. I played this so much as a kid. Me and my dad loved this game. Uh, this sold for $8.99 free shipping. I sold a belt buckle. Kind of a neat thing. A scorpion belt buckle. I got this at a garage sale for $2. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. This is going out to viewer named Ozzy. Ozzy, thank you for the business. Really hope you like this belt buckle. And that is it for the spin. So I'll go ahead and put that back. All right, the next order has seven Funko Pops. Uh, we will start with D7. Let's see, uh, first one is Mega Man Firestorm right here. Next is Mega Man number 13 right there. We got Mega Man Retro. I think that's it for D7. 
All right, and we got at least one up here to C10. Mega Man Ice Slasher. And there's three in A8. There is Mega Man Quick Boomerang, uh, Dr. Wily, and Rush. All seven of these sold for $41.93 plus shipping, so I will combine them all in the same box and refund the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. All those Funkos are going out to a viewer named Adrian who says, keep up the awesome work. I enjoy watching your channel. Adrian, thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the support. Really hope you like all those Funko Pops. All right, next thing is another VCR right here. It's actually a VCR DVD combo. This is another one my buddy Greg gave me for free, so I got nothing into it. Uh, did not have the remote, unfortunately, but still sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing's down here in D6 is a hot skating kin doll got this at a garage sale with some other barbie doll stuff and i think i just overpaid for them it wasn't a great buy uh i'm into this for a little under nine dollars and it sold for 14.99 plus shipping next is in b5 it is a lot of 10 science fiction books all these right here got these at a garage sale about a month ago i've only got a dime into each one so a total of one dollar invested into these 10 books they sold for 14.99 plus shipping those books are going out to a viewer named Matthew. Matthew, thank you for the support. It means a lot. It's Tuesday morning. i got about 10 eBay orders to ship out today. First thing is right here. I already went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit. This is an old um, like wall-mounted thermometer. Kind of like a mid-century modern look to it. This was part of a big bulk buy of stuff that I got like months ago. I've only got a dollar or two into it. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next we're going to B1, and I think I sold a handful of things out of here. I listed some video games yesterday, and a few of them sold. First is Just Dance 4 for the Wii. That sold for $10.99 free shipping. Next is Pokemon Battle for Wii. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. Uh, all these games are part of that big buy I just made up in Fort Wayne, so I've got less than a dollar into each of them. Let's see, I sold Jurassic for the Wii. Uh, that sold for $12.99 free shipping. Your name Gary bought this for his nephew. Gary, thank you for the support. Really hope your nephew likes the game. All right, I also sold Cabela Big Game Hunter for PS2. It should be in here somewhere. Right, there it is. That sold for $7.99 free shipping. And then I sold this Daryl Dixon Walking Dead figure uh, with the motorcycle. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing are some floor mats right up here. I got these at a church sale, I guess about a month ago. It was kind of weird. It was more than one full set. So I decided to split it up because they had two front mats. Let's see, that's a rear one, or maybe it's a middle one. Let me put that back up there. Yeah, I don't think it's that one either. Okay, so it is two front mats, and then there was like some middle and back mats, but then there was like some extra fronts, I think. So I decided to split them up. I paid $5 for all of them, and there was like seven or eight mats. And these two right here just sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, I'm looking at the picture, and I pulled the wrong one. So these two are duplicates. So let's see. Let me put one of these back. There we go. That's right. Okay, so these two sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing that sold is right here in A2. These are some Ray-Ban sunglasses, also part of that uh, big bias stuff I got in Fort Wayne. Uh, so I've... Only got a few dollars in them and they sold for $49.99 free shipping. Next is an F2. This is a San Jose Sharks hat that I got at a garage sale. It is sports specialties, but somebody ripped the tag out. So you can't actually see that it's sports specialties, which is kind of disappointing. I think it might have sold for more. Also a little bit dirty, so kind of hurt the value a little bit. Got this at a garage sale for under $2 because I bought a bunch of hats and just did a bulk deal. This sold for $34.99 free shipping. Next is down here at F6. It is Tekken 2 PS1. Let's see, I think it's right here. Yep, uh, this sold for $14.99 free shipping. Okay, next we're coming up here to D7. Pulling two Funko Pops out of here. It is X-Men, let's see, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. This one right here. And SNL Drunk Uncle, right there. Scene buyer got both of those for eleven ninety eight plus shipping. The Uncle pops are gone out to viewer named Donald, who got some stuff from me yesterday too. So Donald, thank you so much for the continued support. Really appreciate it. It's Thursday morning. I have eleven eBay orders to ship out, but first I'm going to answer a couple of questions from viewers. First is from Clipper Shipper. Have you ever done an office tour video? It looks like you're working out of a storage unit, or is it an office in the front and a small warehouse in the back? Um, I have done a little bit of a tour video, but I think it's been 
like nine months or a year. It's been a pretty long time. Uh, this is a warehouse slash office. They do have storage units on site, but then they also have a whole like strip of like office warehouse type places. So I'll go ahead and show you my spot. I'll start in here. So this is the office part of it. And it's about 400 square feet, just this section here. A little bit messy, so you guys gotta excuse me. Uh, but what I try to do in here is everything that comes in that I haven't listed yet stays in here. And I primarily try to keep my unlisted merchandise just on these two racks. So I just recently made two big buys. So you guys can see I'm pretty well stocked with inventory right now. I got an air conditioner here, which is really nice because it gets super hot in here in the summer. So I run that sometimes. Got a little mini fridge, microwave. This is just kind of like my queue area. So like stuff I'm getting ready to list, I'll just kind of stack here and organize. And then here is my listing table. Not a super fancy setup, but it definitely gets the job done. I got these LED panel lights, gosh, like two years ago, maybe three years ago. And they have just been fantastic. Unfortunately, I can't find them anymore. <laughs> Nobody seems to sell them. I get asked a lot about uh, where people can find these, but I, I haven't been able to find them. But any kind of like LED, you know, panel light, I think is pretty good. I used to have big like umbrella lights that like were on the floor. They just took up so much space and I like these a lot better. Got a TV mounted on the wall. A lot of times I'll watch YouTube or baseball games or something. Just, you know, pass the time while I'm listing. And then I'll come back in here into the warehouse portion. This is about 600 square feet. Uh, total square feet is 1,000. So about 600 warehouse and 400 office. I do have a restroom, which is really nice. I've shown you guys these rolling racks before. I love these uh, because I'm constantly having to move stuff around. And I invested in these a few years back and they've just been excellent. I haven't found a good price online for them. But if you go to like your local, you know... Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. For the most part, they've got them and they run about a hundred bucks each. This is my shipping station. Um, I got this bench at Harbor Freight maybe three or four months ago and I, I like it. It's really nice. I think it was like 150 bucks, something like that. Got this steel rod going all the way across and this is a uh, newsprint roll that I get from a local supply company. And then this right here, I actually pulled out of the Barnes & Noble dumpster. It's a bookstore. And I'm sure that they were displaying books on it, but I am using it for like, you know, quick grab things of like small boxes and bubble mailers that I use a lot. So when I'm packing an item, I can just grab something and I'm ready to go. Um, this rack is all of my like boxes and different packing supplies. I try to organize them kind of by different sizes. So like the really big ones are down here. The small and the medium are here. Over the years, I found like different letter organizers and different things at garage sales like this one right here and this one and i really like them because i can organize all my different types of boxes so i've got you know my padded flat rates my long skinny boxes here's some regional a's some regional b's uh, flat rate envelopes and then i got another one up here with uh, a couple different variations of small boxes uh one last thing so since i have all my unlisted stuff in my office portion Everything inventory wise back here in the warehouse is listed inventory. So I try to keep it separated just so it's a little bit easier to keep track of. And obviously I've got all the bins in alphanumeric order so that I know where to go pull an item when it sells. I only put six bins on each rack because I like this extra space above for like the awkward, you know, bigger items, you know, like a VCR, cowboy hat, like that type of stuff. Not everything fits nice and clean in the bin. Okay, next is a follow-up to a question I had a week or two ago. Somebody was asking about getting scammed on eBay. Um, this says, I was talking about getting scam buyers on eBay. I wanted to share my experience that happened to me. I attached some screenshots. When someone sends an offer, they leave a weird message and basically says to text this random number. Happened multiple times, but they say they want me to send them a gift card with their eBay package and they will send more money back in return. Very weird, obviously never did it, just knew it was a scam, but I wonder if you ever had anything like this happen to you. I've never had that happen. I've heard of that happening before. Um, anytime anyone messages you on eBay and asks you to call them, text them, meet up with them in person or whatever, don't do it. The only way you can do it is after it sells and they pay for it on eBay, okay? So if they buy an item and they haven't paid and they're like, hey, let's meet up local to avoid the fees, don't do it eBay has an algorithm that like scans through messages 
and they will ban you, suspend you, something. There will be punishment to you if you try to cut eBay out of a deal. So don't ever message anybody outside of eBay and just reply like, you know, that's not eBay's policies. I can't do that. So that's how you want to handle that. All right, first order we're pulling is down here in B6. I have a feeling there's a couple things that I sold out of here. Um, one thing I know for sure are these baseballs. These are some of those autographed baseballs I got down in Tennessee. They're uh, Chattanooga Lookout Team autograph balls. I got less than a dollar into each one. I've been listing them for like $10 each plus shipping. Somebody messaged me about buying 10 of them and I said yeah let's do $50 plus shipping and I threw in an extra one so it's 11 baseballs uh sold for $49.99 plus shipping okay staying in that bin I sold this TI-84 plus silver edition calculator got this last weekend at a garage show for 10 bucks it sold for $39.99 free shipping one more thing I sold out of there is an iPod let's see really small probably going to be hard to find Right down there it is. I actually had two of them, so I'm just going to pull one of these out. Got this at the same garage sale. I got this calculator. I paid $5 each for these. One of them just sold for $19.99 free shipping. All right, next is in B1. This is a Walking Dead Daryl Dixon action figure, part of that big lot of stuff I bought up in Fort Wayne. Probably only got a couple dollars into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're going to D4. It is this Christmas Melody Clock. I got this at a garage sale. About a month ago, paid three dollars for it. it. Sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing is a game up here in C one. This is an Animal Crossing game for Wii U. Had the figures and the cards and all that stuff. This sold for eleven ninety nine plus shipping, and it is going to the same buyer as the clock. Those two items are going out to a viewer named Claudette. Claudette, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, this thing is a knife over here in A two. This is a buck knife, also part of the stuff I got in Fort Wayne. Came with the sheath and everything. Uh, this sold for $39.99, free shipping. This is going out to viewer named Steven. Steven, thank you for the support. Really hope you like this knife. Next is a video game up here in C1. Actually sold a few out of here, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull the ones that I know sold. First is Twisted Metal for PS2. This was complete with everything. This sold for $15.99, free shipping. Next is a Guitar Hero 5 for PS2, also complete and also sold for $15.99 free shipping. This one's going out to a viewer named Randy, who is also an eBay seller. It goes by Blessed Southern Seller. If you guys want to check out his eBay store, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, next is down here in B6. It is a Sonic game right here. Sonic Heroes. This sold for $8.99 free shipping. That game's going out to a viewer named John. He says, hello, it's John, the Florida Flipper. I've been wanting this game for my collection. I'm having a giveaway for passing 200 subscribers on my channel. If you don't mind shouting that out on your video, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for the game. John, I'm happy to shout that out. Thank you so much for the support, and congrats on 200 subscribers. All right, last thing I'm pulling is up here in C10. It is a Wonder Woman mug. I actually got this for my wife at uh, FedEx office of all places. They were like discounting and clearance and a bunch of stuff so i paid like two or three dollars for this she didn't want it i know she likes wonder woman stuff but she's just like yeah i'm not really a big tea or coffee drinker so she didn't want it but so i went ahead and sold it sold for 9.99 plus shipping friday morning i got about 10 ebay orders to ship out first is up here in c1 i think i've actually got a handful of things that sold out of here first is a video game Rock Band Country Track Pack for PS2. This is complete with the manual and everything. That sold for $8.99, free shipping. This is going to ask if you're named TJ. TJ, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is a model kit. Ravel Strike Eagle, uh, new in the plastic. Got this at a garage sale, I guess about a month ago. I paid $7 for it. It sold for $19.99, plus shipping. All right, I forgot all about C1 over here. You guys see how quickly my mind wanders. Okay, I sold this big lot of manuals, NES manuals. There are nine of them. Uh, these sold for $11.99, free shipping. Sold this Gundam Wing toy. This is part of that stuff I bought up in Fort Wayne. Unfortunately, the cardboard was like falling off of it in just really bad shape, so I just sold it with the little plastic part here. Would have been worth more if it was in better shape. As it was, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold this Lord of the Rings uh, Gandalf action figure for $9.99 plus shipping. And I think that's it for C1, so I'll go ahead and put that away. 
Next thing is in C3. I have a feeling I sold more than one thing out of here. Let's see. I know that I sold all these Game Boy games. Some Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. There are 34 total. They sold for $39.99 free shipping. These are going to be named Drew, who is also an eBay seller. His eBay store is RatDog44. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, I also sold Shadow of the Colossus right here. Um, it doesn't have the original case, so I just sold a disc only for $9.99 free shipping. That's it for C3, but somehow I missed something in C1. So I'm going to open that back up. This is Super Mario Brothers uh, for NES. It has the manual and the dust cover. This sold for $9.99 free shipping. All right, next thing is an A4. This is another Super Mario Brothers duck hunt, except that this does not have a dust cover. Just the game and the manual. This sold for $7.99 free shipping. Another game, going to be one this time. This is SSX Tricky for PS2. It is complete with the manual inside. It sold for $15.99 free shipping. Sold yet another Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, this time an E1. This one sold for $8.99 free shipping. I think this is in a little bit better condition. That's why I priced that one at $9 and I'm at $8. I sold a Playmobil toy. Um, let's see. I know it's up here somewhere. There it is. Let's see. What is this called? It's some kind of like beach water park type thing um got this at a garage sale about six weeks ago it was only three dollars so i jumped all over it it unfortunately is not complete i think it's like i'd say 99 percent complete is i think what i put in the listing because it's it's got almost everything there it's maybe only missing like a couple like flip-flops or tiny pieces like that this sold for $39.99 plus shipping all right next is some nes games these guys right here Got these in Fort Wayne last weekend, and I pulled out the ones I wanted to sell individually, and the rest I just lotted up. There are 17 games total. They sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Those are going to a viewer named Dennis, who's bought for me before. He says, hello, John. I watched your video and decided to look on eBay to see if I could find some cool old games, and sure enough, I did. Have a wonderful day, my friend. Dennis, thank you for the kind words, and thank you so much for the support. All right, last thing we were pulling today is in A2. It is an old tin toy car with the box. This is also part of the stuff I found in Fort Wayne. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.